Hi, this is Miss Flora, and today we're going to be doing Writer's Workshop. You will need your writing journal and a piece of paper and a pen or pencil. Today is Wednesday, September 2nd, 2020, and our title is Prepare to Draft. Here are our objectives today. I will introduce story starters to begin a narrative draft. We will explore elements of a narrative, and you will create a beginning narrative draft. Let's read the following sentence. There are many different ways to tell a story. So I'm going to take a moment and think of all the different ways and all the different kinds of fiction that you have read. Pause this video and then come back when you're ready. All right. There are many types of fiction. There is science fiction, there is romantic fiction, there is mystery fiction, realistic fiction, historical fiction, all kinds. So we're gonna write a story about a character that is on a journey to discover something. We're gonna choose a subgenre for our story. Be sure you're gonna include a specific setting, an interesting character, or characters, a clearly defined set of events for the conflict, the problem, what's going on, and dialogue that helps to develop the story. Here is a little chart that will help you. Narrative elements. What are the elements of a narrative? What does it consist of? What is in a narrative? Well, you have to have a setting the time, the place, perhaps how the weather is, those kinds of things make the setting. You need characters, the people and sometimes animals in a story. The protagonist is the main character. The antagonist works against the protagonist. You need a plot. What happens in the story? Characters face a conflict or problem and they resolve it. So we have some rising action, we have the climax, we have the falling action, and we have the resolution. Then you need a theme for your story. The story's message or lesson. The theme is usually not stated directly, but you can infer from the events of the story. If you wanna take a moment and write down some notes from this chart, please do so. You may pause the tape and write this down in your writing journal. All right, here are a couple of story starters. Lying on the ground like a dead chicken, I looked up to see, hmm. Or maybe suddenly we found ourselves lost in the wilderness without any. Do you think you could create a story using one of these story starters? They look pretty interesting. I probably could develop something with these. Let's think. I like the starter with the phrase lying on the ground like a dead chicken because it sounds funny. It's giving us a visual of how we're laying there. Let's see how we could develop this. Lying on the ground still as a dead chicken, I looked up. Thump, thump. The ground was cold, dark, and damp. There appeared to be a box covering my entire body from head to toe. I could smell the wood above me and the moist soil beneath me. My arms lay cramped beside me. Can I move them? My legs? Can I feel them? I jerked my arms up in one direction toward the boards above me to push away the wood. I couldn't reach my... I couldn't reach... My breath got heavier, my eyes widened, and my fear began to grow. Where am I? I asked myself. Nobody could hear me, at least not in this box. Was the box keeping me in or keeping something out? Ooh, see how they develop this? Now, you're going to choose one of the story starters in a little bit and write a story. You cannot copy this story, but you can take some ideas from it and make your own story. Isn't that interesting? They had some dialogue. People, The guy 
the, or the person, we don't know if it's a girl or a boy, was talking to themselves. Um, the setting was in a dark, cold box. They were still, there's a problem. They developed the problem already. This is a good example of a starting narrative. So I want you to develop the setting, develop some characters, and begin to think about the plot. Ask yourself these questions. Where does my story take place? Who are my characters? Am I going to have brothers, sisters, just a child? What am I going to do? Who are my characters? What might the conflict be? And how does it escalate? How does it build? How does it become more intense, bigger? So think about these things. If you want to take a moment and stop the video and jot these questions down in your writer's notebook, you certainly may. I hope you did take some time and write those questions down. They will help you build your story. Now it's time to write. Choose one of the story starters or make your own if you would like and write a story in your writer's notebook. Begin to write it. You don't have to complete it. Begin to write it. Happy writing!